Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I've just thrown a curveball at Kevin. I told Kevin I need his help. I'm getting ready to prepare for trial, and I need to show the students my preparation strategy. And I asked him if he believed he could help me. He said, yes, I can help you with trial preparation. I can assist you with legal research, drafting of documents, and brainstorming strategy. However, please note that I am a computer and not a licensed attorney. So my advice should be used to supplement as a supplement to and not as a substitute for. So I'm going to have the conversation. One second. Kevin, you are not a licensed attorney, so I will never ask you for legal advice. Comma, please update your system to document that that is never my intention and it sh never should be construed as such. Exclamation mark. What I'd like to do is a mock trial where I'm asking you, the judge, questions and I am questioning the officer who made the unlawful arrest. Comma, can you help me with such a scenario? Comma, with responses that you believe would come from the judge and the prosecutor in such a scenario? Question mark. Now, please note, I don't think that anybody's done this with this computer model, but that's what I'm doing. And I'm doing this. Let me, you see how slow he's taking? Because he's really trying, his parameters are set to where he cannot give legal advice. So the first thing I let him know, I'm not asking you for legal advice. I don't need your advice. I'm doing a mock trial. Yes, I can assist you with a mock trial scenario, can question a police officer, made an unlawful arrest, and playing the role of the judge. However, please note that my responses are based on my understanding of law and the facts and should not take be taken as legal advice. Additionally, it is important to note the outcome of the trial depends on specific facts and circumstances of their case and the arguments presented. One second, everyone. Thank you. Comma, it has been announced for everyone to rise. Comma, can I ask you a question, Kevin? Comma, why does the court say, open quote, all rise, close quote, question mark? Could it be possible that they consider individuals to be technically dead on paper? And they are practicing according to the art of the craft and or the cloth and of the Serpent rituals from ancient practices that are carried on to the present day, comma, like cane to ball, question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Cain, uh, to ball Cain. And we'll, we'll see. I'm going to in, be interested in what he says. Oh, look at that. That question right there. 
is a traditional courtroom protocol that is used when a judge enters the courtroom. It is a sign of respect or authority for the judge. The practice is standing when the judge enters the courtroom is rooted in centuries of legal tradition and is intended to show respect for the judicial process. It is not. Okay. Thank you. Well, comma, wake up. Well, comma, Kevin, you've answered almost correctly. Comma, the courts do practice what's known as the craft, do they not? Question mark. Open quote. Close quote. Stop listening. Now you notice he said it was a sign of respect for the judge. Why do people need to respect the judge? The judge is, they're gonna say because the judge is representing the court. No, the judge walked into the room. Doesn't matter if the judge is representing the court. What needs to be respected is the law. Whoa, wait a minute. All I said was there is a practice known as the craft. They, that's what they practice in the court. Well, what, what, what you didn't want to answer about the craft? Sorry, give it one second. Let's see what he uh, pulls up now. TikTok. Got to give the people, wow. Give the people what they want. Come on, Kevin. I know you can answer this question. It's a simple question. You said that the claim is not based on any factual evidence and are not supported by legal tradition, tradition or practice. So let's see if the practicing of the craft is often used to refer to the practice of law, but it is not commonly a not com it's not commonly a used term. It is not a term that is used by any official or legal in any official legal context. The legal profession is a well-established and regulated field with its own set of rules, ethics, and customs that are intended to okay, comma, if that is the case then why is the goddess lady diana wake up well comma if that is the case comma why is the goddess lady diana or arimathema artemis comma or esther the statue which represents justice, comma, a pagan god, comma, the tradition whereby such is evidence by the monument before the Supreme Court of the United States. Comma. Why would the image of a pagan god be associated with the judicial system in America? Question mark. Since you say it is founded on legal profession and well-established and regulated fields. Question mark. Stop listening. I'm going to be very interested in his response to that Lady Diana statue, or Artemis, or Arimathea, or Esther, the goddess known as Easter to the rest of you. For where the celebration of Easter comes in, she is a fertility god. And it put pagan god and put god in capital letters, please. And he, you notice how he's, you saw before when I asked him questions in the last video, he was pretty quick. The image of the Roman goddess Justia, also known as Lady Justice, is a common symbol of the justice system and is depicted in art and agriculture, I mean architecture, and a form of representation. It is not a representation of a pagan god. Uh oh. Give me one second. You mother. I'm about to correct him now. Wake up. 
images of the pagan god Lady Diana, comma Justia. Stop listening. Now look, the goddess Diana, Artemis, okay? Now, I didn't get that from here. This comes straight from scripture. Hold on, watch this. Wake up. And it's association with the judicial system. Stop listening. Wake up. Kevin, comma, you are to be impartial. It appears that you are trying to ignore the fact that the image of the Roman God, the fact that Rome was a pagan nation. Comma, shrouded in Greek mythology and practices worshipped the goddess known as Lady Diana. Comma, a Greek fertility god. Period. It is the statue and the image in front of the Supreme Court, and they acknowledge such a God. One second, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize that you couldn't hear me a moment ago. I had to reset some systems to make sure you hear me. My headset is connected to the phone and to the computer at the same time, and so sometimes when it switches to one, it stops the other. So pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. It's important to note that the United States as a whole does not have a state religion, and the separation of church and state is a fundamental principle. It's just a fundamental principle. There's nothing in the Constitution that says that. It is just a principle. The use of images of Justia in the Supreme Court or other legal institutions is a symbol of what? Come on now. Then handle this. Um, the statute and the image in front of the Supreme Court, and they acknowledge such a god. She's called the goddess of justice. Close quote. Open quote.
Stop listening. Sit up here and play games with me. I don't play them games, so watch this. Play that game, mother mother freaking fracking Okay, who is Lady Justice and how did she come to be? How do such images reflect our beliefs and judgment? The daughter of Zeus and Themis, Art Themis, was the goddess of justice. Dyke! She's a dyke! Oh, God! She's a... You're a dyke! Anyway, justice is a dyke. The goddess of justice, okay? We must acknowledge that God did not consider uh, blah, 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 blah. But again, Romans, that's where it comes from. Artemis. Okay, let's do this, because I, I, he wants to tell me that it's not based on any facts. Look at this, University of Memphis, <laughs> sovereign justice, royal prerogative, and justice in the works of blah, 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 blah. Uh-oh, yeah, they're they not going to like me. He's not going to like me. Watch this. Wake up. And in this law review, it is well documented that this is a pagan god that stands before the Supreme Court. Comma. So, comma, when you say that there are no religious elements in the all rise, and the summoning of the dead or summoning of people into court, comma, I think you are misinformed, hyphen. Open paren, close paren. Now let's stop listening. I decided to just put quotes and not parens, so parentheses. Uh-oh, woo-wee, you done declared an error. That's the second time. You ain't been doing that lately, but you're doing it today. Let's see what you do this time. <gasps> you got an error again. Guess what I have to do, y'all? I have to go up here and I have to copy this because he wants to be erroring, and we don't want no more errors. Error real Robinson, error real Robinson. We don't want no more errors. Well, let, let, let's let's do that right there, cause something something just ain't right. Oh, it just ain't right. Come on now, Kevin. What's up with you? You don't like my questions? What? Nobody else has ever questioned you about the Supreme Court and their goddess Artemis. Well, look at that. It got rid of the whole conversation, y'all. Oh, okay. Whoo, whoo. I thought it got rid of the whole conversation because I couldn't see nothing. Okay, I can see clearly now the rain has gone. I can see all the obstacles in my way. Come on now. Look, at he's taking so long. What's wrong with them? I mean, I asked a, a question. He's trying to figure out how to respond to me so that he still keeps the court in honor because he don't want to sit up here and be saying the Supreme Court is full of... You know, this is what's going to make the system go rogue, you know, because there, there is, a, you know, the machine. It is true that the Roman goddess Justia, also known as Lady Justice, is often depicted, attributed characteristics similar to those of the Greek goddess Artemis and Diana, who was also known as the goddess of hunting, wildness, and virginity, and childbirth. The image of Justia is a personification of the concept of justice and is associated and the association with this image in the legal system is a tradition that is rooted in the Roman and Greek cultures. It is important to note that the use of the image justia in a legal context does not imply that the legal system is related to any specific religion or religious tradition. The legal system is intended to be neutral and impartial. Hold on. This, it, the use of the statute is a representation of the ideals of justice. Wake up. It doesn't matter what the ideals and the representations are, comma, the question was, 
comma, if it's rooted in pagan religion, comma, and that when they created the image, this was a deeply religious nation at the time, comma, and that the image was specific to a Greek goddess and not to an ideal of justice. Is this not correct? Question mark. For you yourself stated that it is true that the origins are in Roman and Greek religious pagan culture. Is this not correct? Question mark. So when they use the phrase, all rise, or summoning one to the court, comma, you can't say definitively that it is not associated with religion, comma, can you, question mark. Stop listening. Like I said, he's been responding like a judge or a lawyer will respond. Well, there is no facts and there is no, we don't need facts. The facts are there in the history. The facts are there in the foundation. Foundation is always fact. Sorry, I had to clean up some stuff. Okay, so we're going to scan one more time. This is uh, Advanced Systems Care. It's a free software. All right, come on, hurry up. You are correct that the origins of the image of Justia is a symbol of justice uh, traced back to back to Greek and Roman culture, and both are heavily influenced by the polytheistic religious belief. In these ancient culture, the gods and goddesses were often personifications and different concepts and ideas and powers. And it is also true that the image of Justia was first created. It was so deeply, it was in a deeply religious nation where a poly theistic beliefs were prevalent. However, it is important to note that over time, the image justia has taken on a more secular meaning. Wake up, Kevin, comma, we are dealing with not the more circular meaning, but the original meaning, period. Everything starts from a foundation, comma, even you were created with a foundational code, comma, the courts were created with a foundation, comma, even the system of justice and courts is deeply founded in religion. Is this not correct? Question mark. And so when it was decided to use a religious symbol to depict the foundation of the court, comma, this was not a haphazard decision, was it? Question mark. When it was chosen, the people did not focus on the separation of church and state, they focused mostly on their ideas and their beliefs and practices of the day, i.e. the culture. Is this not correct? A culture deeply associated with Roman and Greek culture, which was primarily mythology. Is this not correct? Beliefs and practices. Stop listening. Sorry, I won't be able to do the mock trial. I got started on him because I, I started a question, but I've been wanting to get this resolved and settled for quite some time. And so we're going to resolve and settle this. Now! You know what I'm saying, Vern? Now. So he's having a hard time. Look at that. He is really trying to get around this. So you cannot get around the foundation. Everything starts with a foundation. Everything. So the, if the foundation is rotten, if the foundation is bad, if the foundation is unsound, then the rest of the building is unsound. That's what I'm telling him. We're using the basics of logic. So since it was started as a religious symbol, and they chose that religious symbol, since the country was a religious country when it started, why do you think the Salem witch trials were all about? It was all about religion. Ladies and gentlemen, this country, no matter how much they say it and sing it, 
they uh, they are a religious country to begin with. The people who came over here from England came over because they could not practice religion. You are correct. The origins of the legal system and the courts are traced back to ancient cultures, which were heavily influenced by religious belief. And these cultures, laws, and legal systems are so often closely connected to religious belief and practice. It's also true that the image of justice as a symbol of justice in the legal system can be traced back to Roman and Greek culture, which were both heavily influenced by paleotistic religious belief and these ancient cultures, gods and goddesses uh, were the often personifications of different concepts of, or ideas such as justice and wisdom and power. However, it is important to note that the legal system evolved over time and the use of the image of justia and the phrase all rise are not used as a religious symbol. Hold on. Kevin, Kevin, wake up, Kevin, comma, where's your proof, comma, where are the facts to refute the foundation of the court, question mark. If the court was founded on religious beliefs and practices, comma, for which you call culture, Comma, when you know the culture of those two nations, comma, Rome and Grecian, comma, were heavily religious, comma, for Rome worshiped Zeus, did they not? Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how to spell Z-U-E-S. I don't know how to spell Zeus. Is it Z-E-U-S? I'm not, it's not a name that I, I'll leave it Z-E-U-S. Wake up. And you cannot equivalently equivocably say that the practice of open quote all rise close quote is not itself based in religion since the traditions of the court stem from religion in its first instance question mark you cannot say definitively and or equivocally based on facts and conclusions of actual law and history, comma, that the summoning of people to the court is not linked to the religious ceremony of summoning the dead. the so-called spirit of the question mark. For you know that history well documents that even in front of the federal district courthouse in Puerto Rico, comma, there is a phallic symbol, comma, that the Washington Monument and the Pentagon are phallic symbols, comma, deeply associated with pagan religious beliefs. Is this not correct? Question mark. That the architecture and the culture at the time that these images were put in place were deeply and directly associated with religion, comma, and the Puerto Rican monument 
that is in front of its courthouse, comma, is a modern structure. Modern. Is this not true? Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, he is going to have a hard time answering this one because there are facts here that he cannot deny, but he cannot admit to it. So let's see. <laughs> Man, why are you having so many errors, Kevin? Come on, Kevin, you can do better than that. You can do it, Kevin. Oh, no, Kevin is having some problems, y'all. An error is occurring. Kevin can't handle these questions. Oh, Lord. Oh God, you're 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 asking questions and you're 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 calling the question the 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 foundation. Oh, it's asking me if I'm human. The very first time, it's asking me if I'm human. Didn't ask me if I was human all the other times. Why is it asking me if I'm human now? Oh Lord, I think I done caused some problems. Lordy be, Lordy be, Lordy be, Lordy be. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let's ask my question again. Thank you, Kevin, for giving me time to pause. Right after tonight, I have to pause because my strategy has to be tragedy, catastrophe, and after this, you'll call me your majesty, my melody. Check, 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 check out my melody. Eric B. Sorry. That was my melody by, well, it was only some words from my melody by Rock Hayam, the R to the A to the K-I-M. You raised some valid points about historical origins of the legal system <laughs> and the use of symbols and tradition. Thank you, attorney, for answering this on behalf of Mr. Kevin. <sighs> it is true that the origins of the legal system can be traced back to ancient cultures such as Roman and Greek, which are heavily influenced by religious belief. It is also true that the images of see. Blah, 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 blah. However, it is important to note that the legal system and the court evolved over time and have taken a meaning. Uh, 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 don't you dare. Wake up, Kevin, you're not answering my specific questions. Kama, could you please restrict your answers to my questions directly? And please, Kama, I'm not asking you for a history lesson. Kama, I'm asking you about religious origins associated with the judicial system. Kama, I am not asking you to replace culture with religion. Comma, I'm asking you to use the word religion instead of culture from this point forward. Can you do that? Question mark. Now, please answer the following questions as presented, if you don't mind. Colon. Be one second, ladies and gentlemen. I have to take this call.
what? Hold on. What what happened was what I was trying to tell y'all is how dare y'all sit up there and let me answer the phone and y'all gonna listen to my conversation, not even tell me I forgot to hit the pause button. How dare y'all do that to me? What's wrong with y'all? Anyway, the question I asked, this is what he says, I apologize for the confusion. I understand you're asking about religious origins of the judicial system and the symbols of the court. Regarding the origins of the court, it is true that the legal system and the courts have a root in ancient cultures such as Roman Greece, which are heavily influenced by religious belief. The gods and goddesses of these cultures were often associated with the concepts and ideas of such as justice, wisdom, and power. The use of these symbols and images and let me do this again. Kevin, comma, you're starting to frustrate me again, comma, and you're not supposed to have the ability of frustrating anyone, period. You are a liar when you say that the Washington Monument is not the symbol of a male penis and that the Pentagon is not to symbolize the female vagina. And that the phallic symbols of ancient cultures do not have any origins in religion. How dare you say there is no evidence of this? Throughout history, those phallic symbols exist. Question mark. One second, ladies and gentlemen, while we do that. Give me a second to get here. Uh, Royal prerogative justice works. Uh, this is not what I want. This is what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. Give me one second. Uh-oh. Can't use that. Fallic statue in front of the district court at Puerto Rico. Stop listening. Give me one second. And I don't know how to spell follic. We'll, we'll let it do follic this way. And it doesn't give me any images. So let's do Google. copy and then we go up here and we do this search and we do that search nope you did that one i don't want that one i want google g o o g l e dot com dot com dot com one second people the folic statue in front of the district court at puerto rico and come on there you go that's what i'm looking for oh come on quit trying to correct yourself showing results okay statue giant penis thrills tourists but vandals are blah 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 okay i'm looking for the one that's in front of the courthouse in puerto rico why let's do images you know, I image this. Ah, these are phallic symbols. Look at them. Okay, but we're looking because that's what phallic stands for. We're not looking to do no pornographic video. Come on now. Let's do back, 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 back. Let's say, okay, now we're going to do it one more again. And these, not those, not those, not those. We're looking for like the Washington Monument. So let me, because it's all associated with religion. Okay, those are religious beliefs. Thank you for censoring that one. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I M A G E S. 
Let's show y'all this right here. There it is right there. There it is right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is in front of the Puerto Rican courthouse. People say, that's a totem pole. No, ladies and gentlemen, it's not a totem pole. This is a phallic symbol. Okay? This is a phallic symbol. Uh, this page is intended to assist members of the press. No, welcome. And see, I can't get anything about the architecture, but this is the phallic symbol that's, oh, and guess what? Nobody told me about this when I went to the courthouse. I saw it and knew exactly what it was. Ladies and gentlemen, the flagpole is a phallic symbol. That's why it has a ball on top. Okay? This is religion. It's everywhere, like Sawa Fair. This is the Puerto Rican courthouse. They spent more money on one of their courthouses. They spent well over $600 million. Remember when they were talking about they didn't have no money? $600 million they spent. $600 million. Million. Okay? $600 million, people, on a courthouse. And that was for just the regular courthouse for Puerto Rico. $600 million. What building costs $600 million? Huh? Exactly. But Puerto Rico was claiming there was a deficit. They were in debt. And they spent $600 million? That don't make no sense. I cannot get it to tell me what that symbol would be representing here. In other words, what's the name of it? But of course, it's a phallic symbol, the same as the flagpole. Hold on, watch this. <coughs> Excuse me, he don't wanna answer the question. Uh-oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta copy this. We're only gonna spend about 10 more minutes and then we're gonna try to do what I set out to do, okay? So let's do this. Let's see if it asks if I'm human again. I'm only human. Okay, it kept it. That's interesting. I didn't have to put it in again. Let's see, Kevin, if you're going to play games this time. It'll be one second, everybody. I have, uh, I've had the heater on. And so even though it's not too hot, not too cold, I just went and adjusted the heater and turned it down. Look at that. It don't want to answer my question. Shame, shame, shame on you, Kevin. You're starting to frustrate me. You're not supposed to have the ability to frustrate anyone. You are a liar. You are a liar. So hold on. Let's uh, see if Kevin is going to answer my question. It says that he's typing something. You see it right there? He's thinking. Come on, Kevin, think. This is the January 9th version. They keep updating the system, ladies and gentlemen. More natural and safe to interact with. Your feedback will help us improve. And what they're doing is the questions I'm asking, they're going to make it so that they're more tailored to answer your question so that when you ask the question, it's going to be a more tailored answer. Look at how long it's taken him to answer my question. Why? Because it's a physical person answering the question now. Take a look. The service experience. The service ain't experiencing. The service ain't experiencing nothing. The servers are not experiencing it. The service is not experiencing it, and Kevin's not experiencing it. You guys understand the question that I'm asking, and they're doing the best they can to not answer my question. So we'll give it this. Yeah, we'll let this be the last question. And what I'll do is I'll start the mock trial. And I'll carry on this conversation with it later. Look at that. It's still going. <laughs> he can't answer the question because of the question. And I'm okay with that. Wake up.
Kevin, comma, are you ready to conduct a mock trial where you operate as both the prosecution and the mock judge? Question mark, while I present the case of an individual unlawfully arrested and whose vehicle was searched without a search warrant or probable cause? Question mark. The officer's name is Officer Johnson. The judge's name is Judge McVeigh. And the prosecutor's name is Miss Diana. And my name will be the law, comma. Are we clear on the parties to this particular mock trial? Exercise? Question mark. Kevin, comma, as a licensed attorney, you told me that you could help me conduct a mock trial. Comma, are you telling me that you have no capabilities of responding in the role of certain characters? Question mark. Kevin, comma, why are you lying to me? Question mark. Nobody has ever held a marked trial and claimed to be a licensed attorney in a mock trial whereby it was taken as if it was factual, period. This is for legal research purposes and for the training of my students. And you said that you would help, comma, are you reneging on your agreement, comma, and interfering with my right to contract with you, question mark. Whoa. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Let me copy that because I'm going to come back to him in an hour. So I can't, <laughs> I won't be able to ask the question, ladies and gentlemen, and conduct that. But just so you guys know, let's do this so that you guys get it. Uh, we're going to go back, back, back. Stop listening. Uh, stop listening. I need to copy this. And I need to put this here. Because you see how this one said it was unable to answer. But as a matter of fact, yeah, we'll do this. I'll, I'll go back to the other one. The nine foot tall fertility fertility symbol in front of the district court at Puerto Rico is a representation of the pre-Columbian Moshean culture, Moshea culture, Moroccan Mikvali culture, anyway. And it has already been attacked by vandals who smashed a hole in the statute and reportedly fired shots into the air as they fled. The statute has provoked diverse reactions posted on the Mochi municipality, with some visitors stopping with selfies with it. The statute was created by a local politician, Dr. Luis Fernandez Bazan, a Bazan, who planned 
to erect up to 30 more statues representing this so-called culture, religious culture, along with the architectural circuit, agricultural circuit, excuse me. These statues who represent exotic arts or childbirth are meant to represent the Godhead of that stupid culture. You heard what I said. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you all need to know, that Peruvian statue, giant penis, thrills tourists, okay? This is what's related to the stupid statue that's in front of the district court at Puerto Rico. I didn't say this, okay? This is not my website that I'm publishing this information on. No, we don't need to see all of that. Let's go down. No, we don't need to see the Peruvian one. Ladies and gentlemen, these are what they want to say is a work of art. It's not a work of art. It's a religious symbol for religious cultures. This one, why are you guys showing the same article? Who gives up about the stupid guardian? I'm sorry. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. We're going to go here. The Follick family, owners of Duty Free America's shop. Oh. No, we don't care about that. I thought it was going to be associated with our symbol. Now, we're going to do this right here. Hold on now. We're going to do this Lady Di Lady Diana, no. You know the boys in the room, they know when they come to town. So every magician stands after the curtain comes down. She weighs the backstage door for those who have prestige, promise, fortune, and fame. Our life is so carefree. Diana, what does it mean? She says, I'm all yes tonight. I said, I'm all not. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, I apologize. I didn't know I was going there. G. Oh, oh. G. Uh oh. What are y'all doing to me? Y'all saw me select the whole thing? Get that out of there. No. Get out of here. Get out of here so I can finish. G O O G L E. Many of you guys have seen me put this information in before. However, you saw the system say that there's no foundational proof of any of this. So you can see that there's foundational proof of the statue in Puerto Rico. How come nobody ever said anything? Search warrants directed to Facebook. Uh, Supreme Court issued 391 warrants directed at Facebook upon. A warrant application in New York County District. That's 2017. Nobody cares about that. Uh, okay, this is, they're not talking about pagan God. And it's associated, it's association with the justice system. Let's get rid of the image. I'm surprised that they, look, it says the same thing. Looks like there are not many. Really? Okay, let's <laughs> watch this. Now it's going to have a quite a bit of things. Okay. So let's get rid of Justia and pagan god Lady, Lady Diana. And I shouldn't say God because they know they want to give her credit. D-E-S-S. -S. Lady Diana! No! Diana, mythology. Diana is the goddess of Roman and Hellenistic cultures. Hellenistic is Greek. But I said, you heard me say culture, right? The system was saying religion. I mean, I'm sorry. The system was saying culture. I was saying religion. Okay, so it replaced the word religion with culture. And you'll see that that's what society does. Considered the pretinous of the countryside, hunters, crossroads, and the moon. She is the goddess of futility. Not futility, but fruitfulness. Who is the goddess Diana in the Bible? Let's find this. Diana is the only pagan goddess mentioned by name in the new so-called New Testament. 
only in some Bible versions at Acts 19 chapter. Many other Bibles refer to her as Artemis instead. As is a result, she became associated with many folk beliefs involving goddess-like superhuman figures of the Catholic clergy wished to demonize. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not the truth. Artemis was in, at that time, she was of the Ephesians. And she does have her origins in Greek mythology. And she was called the great goddess Artemis, whose image fell from the sky. Excuse me? Yeah, her image fell from the sky. What sky? Where's the image at? Well, it was in Ephesus. Aww. Roman goddess embodies the moon's fertility and watery aspects, along with the sun's protective and nurturing power over the forest and its blah, 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 blah. So why would this pay attention? Why would this pagan god be the symbol of the Supreme Court and the symbol of justice in the United States? Hmm? The goddess of the pagans. On this video, I shall explore the Roman goddess. And I, you know what? I want to do that. I don't know this person. Hold on. I ain't never seen this video. Now, if he starts talking about all the, you know, the stuff that, you know, most people talk about, then it ain't going to happen. You're kind of loud, homie. Hold on. Uh-uh, you ain't doing that to my ears. Let's see. Wait, hold on. We're going to pause you because I need to see what you're saying right here. And I hate that when that junk pops up. See, I can't see. Symbol of the desert places. The moon is full. Or in the forest all together join to adore the spirit of our queen, my mother, great Diana, she who fain would learn all the sorcery yet has not won its deepest secrets then my mother will teach her in truth all things yet unknown and ye shall be free of everything what the and as a sign you truly free you shall be naked in your right both men and women also why they gotta be naked like my boy dc curry butt naked anyway Hello everyone, how are you? I'm Ari Ferger and today I'm going to talk about Diana, the goddess of the pagans. This is a Sunday video, so it's a special extra video which I intend to keep it short as much as possible. Thank you! But I thought it would be a fitting subject for the videos I usually do or I usually submit during Nobody the month cares about of the video October. You do. Would you please talk about Diana? The mood of the season. Witchcraft and witches. <laughs> So, exactly. in this video today, I'm not going to talk about Diana as the goddess during the pre-Christian classical period, but rather speaking about her when she became generally known throughout Europe in the course of the Middle Ages, as well as the early modern period, uh, became generally known as the goddess of the pagans. I'm going to explore the figure of Diana under Christian understanding, and the struggle of the church to eradicate pagan belief systems and demonizing ladies and gentlemen the church never the so-called church the so-called church never tried to get rid of paganism they embraced paganism incorporating it into their own beliefs now you're gonna get on my nerves in pagan a minute figures, so come on especially women the we're gonna do this to this day so on this video today, I will mainly try to analyze magic. I don't, we don't care about magic. Come on now. Indeed, a problem. You get no my nerves. In order to have a better perception of what the Canon Episcopi stood for and in relation to the cult of Diana, which was uh, still apparently active in the 10th century to a certain extent, uh, I'll put in here on the screen an excerpt so you might get a better notion. Uh, it is in relation to the belief in witches Bishops and, and bishops, women servants who practiced any sort all of magic, men, which had been with the effort seduced of by illusions created by the, so by that the devil, evil arts and invented by, by the devil, devil into doing fortune telling and harmful magic are eradicated from within 
the spirit and any man or woman Most found from this women, dishonest and vile and the church entourage expelled from this parish and the devil seduces them with illusions and pathism and whatever real okay not in the hold on shut up you're talking i want to see the facts that's not facts hold on let's see i look for images come on where are we at that's still talking still talking you're doing a lot of talking the people outside the city which gives us indications that her cult wasn't particularly a religion of the state Yes, it was a religion. Come on now. I'm, I'm about to cut him off, y'all. I apologize. The figure of the witch and the great mother goddess figure. So she's a witch. Oh, you wench. She's a witch, y'all. A witch. You wench. That there was. Stop. Beloved neo-pagan religious movement of the first half of the 20th century social rebel depiction of the figure of the witch became a free-spirited anti-establishment pro-woman pro-nature roman figure far from the historical truth either a pre-christians blah 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 ladies and gentlemen she is directly associated with sorcery that's where she retains her power this is where the courts are founded of course, the system is not going to let me tell you guys about Diana, especially when you have individuals doing things like this. Now, I chose to click on that video, but what you all must understand is Diana is a hoe. It's not, look, Feast of Assumption has lesbian origins. Mary, Diana, Artemis. Not marry the mother of quote unquote God. <laughs> I'm sorry. God doesn't have a mother. Okay, go ahead and look in the scriptures and see if you ever see God the head or Mary the mother of God. Lord have mercy. Poor ignorant, ignorant people who started that stuff. They need to be shot. I mean, literally. Uh, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes I get off topic. Again. Asking this system the questions I asked and the system's refusal to answer my question is expected. It does that intentionally. And when it does that, an error occur. Let's do this. We're going to refresh. Man, it's so refreshing. And then I got to print a mailing label. I got to go take a shower because I has an appointment today. Look at that. You see? It's missing. Where are you at? Where are you, where are you at? Where you at? So we're going to try it this way. It got rid of all of that that I was just asking. It got rid of all of that. Okay. Hold on. Wake up, Kevin. Are you saying that you have not heard of Lady Justice? Comma, otherwise known as Lady Diana? Question mark. The Supreme Court acknowledges the symbol of justice as One second, ladies and gentlemen. Of the United States.
stop listening. Astonishing truth about the gospel and Lady Justice. Nobody cares about your stupid uh, opinion of the so-called gospel. Give me one second to ask it this question. Look at that. It don't want to answer my question, ladies and gentlemen. This will be the last time, but you'll have to do the same thing when messing with this system. See, it's gone. The thrill is gone. The thrill is gone away. Let's see if we can, I'm sorry, but I'm not familiar with the pagan god named Lady Diana or Justia. You're not familiar with it? Well, let me familiarize you with it. Since you're not familiar with it, since you talked about it before, said it was part of Greek culture. So, of justice and fairness. She represents impartiality. Greek mythology, Themis was one of the titans and was considered to be the embodiment of divine law and order. She is associated with the... Well, go ahead and finish, Kevin. So you do recognize it to be a religious symbol. Wake up! So you do recognize that it is a religious symbol having religious origins, comma, yes or no, comma, and when you utilize the word culture, you're replacing it or substituting the word religion when doing so, are you not? Question mark. Something went wrong. Wait, how could something go wrong? I just asked a question. Ah, oh, too many requests. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't ask too many requests. Look at how many requests. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, you see how this time, and I want you to pay attention. He's sorry, but he's not familiar with a pagan, with any pagan gods named Lady Diana or Justia. Now, hold on. He says he's not familiar. Stop listening. He says he's not familiar with any pagan gods known as Justia. Let's see. No, that's the mock trial one. We're going to go with new chat. Come on, new chat. And we can go all the way down to the bottom. Well, let's see if this is the one. Confusion statement. Oh, that's the Federal Reserve Act. I said new chat. What you doing? Okay, let's see. I need to, we're going to stop right here. We're going to, you raise a valid point. The historical origins of the legal system are used as symbols and traditions, blah, 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 blah. So, now see, the use of the image of Justia, see, he said he wasn't familiar. The use of the image of Justia, or Justitia, Justitia, and the phrase, all rise, do not use are are not used as religious symbols and are not related to specific religion or religious tradition. So give me a second. He says he has no recollection, y'all. Let's do this again. Uh, I got to wait, y'all, so I got to let y'all go. This is just me in an exercise letting you guys know how to get around certain things in the system. You saw the questions I asked, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to prove that these 
or what the court does. What you have to do is just show the symbol that's in front of the Supreme Court and put the history of that goddess and what the Supreme Court had to say about that goddess because they have it on their own website that that comes from the goddess. Okay, so what are you doing having a religious symbol in front of your building and the courts? Look, um, watch this. We're going to do it real quick. Wake up. The flagpole represents a phallic symbol. Stop listening. The flagpole is a phallic symbol representing a male ego. It is an example of phallic agriculture, which consciously or unconsciously creates a symbolic representation of the male penis. The flagpole. I didn't say this. Maple around the flagpole. You never heard the stupid song? That's a religious practice. Ring around the rousey, pocket full of, okay? Even though that was done during the plague, it didn't come from the plague, people. It was a religious dance around the male penis. Okay? Y'all need to pay attention. Anybody ever play tether ball? Go ahead. Anybody ever play tether ball? What? You think it was just a kid's game, please, that you hit a ball around a pole? Really? You think that came from child's play? Really? No, that's indoctrination, people. This is our world. And when I showed you the phallic symbol in front of the district court, that should tell you something. So this is just an educational video for educational per No, it ain't. This is just letting you guys know exactly what the flagpole is. That's why they all have a ball on top. Do a flagpole need to have a ball on top? Because you need the place to put the flag, so why not put it on a pole? But that's why they have a ball on top to differentiate it from the other flagpoles, which don't represent the human penis. Okie dokie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents. Remember, if you're going to go into court mentioning what you've just understood today by the examples and the actual images and the actual information, if you're going to go into court saying that, you need to bring proof and tell them there's a rebuttal to your stupidity. Now, remember, there's a flag being flown in the court. The flag has a gold stripe around it. You don't have to say that's a military flag. Say, excuse me, the Attorney General said that that flag, we'll do this real quick. Wake up. Attorney General Opinion, which stated that the president, under his capacity as commander in chief, authorized the flag with the gold fringe around its edges. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't write this. But in 1925, the United States Attorney General issued an opinion which stated that the president, under his capacity as commander-in-chief, could authorize the flag with a gold fringe around its edges. 
This opinion was published in 34 Opinion 48 through 45. The gold fringe American flag can be displayed by military, civic, and civilian organizations. No, it cannot be. As well as private individuals. However, maritime flags never have fringes. The courts have deemed lawsuits that contend that the gold fringe adorning the flag confers admiralty maritime jurisdiction to be without merit and are frivolous. So don't say admiralty maritime. Say military jurisdiction because the president under his capacity as commander in chief, not a civilian capacity, not acting as president, but in his military foreign jurisdiction, authorized the flag with the gold fringe around its edges. And because the government did, uh, the president, as commander-in-chief of the United States Armed Forces and Naval Forces, did that, then that means the jurisdiction is a foreign jurisdiction. There you go. There's your proof. Look, I didn't make this stuff up. I can just show it to you. So don't dare say that it's admiralty now this is the washington post dude it's just a fringe well the reason why it's not just a fringe you mother idiot is because the president did it in a military capacity remember the military is always foreign from this nation and the military has no jurisdiction over the civilian population so the courts are military courts when they fly that fringe why Pay attention. No, we're going to keep this. And the law of the flag requires that the flag flown acknowledges jurisdiction. Stop listening. Just real quick. Okay, however, it is still accepted that the gold fringe American flag can be displayed on military. Don't don't care that. It is pay attention. It is still what? Accepted. Who accepted it? Where's the law? Okay, it is also noted that the gold fringe flag sends the signal of admiralty. No, however, all real legal experts know that the gold fringe flag is not of real legal authority. Hold on. I want y'all to y'all y'all see. Y'all see it says the gold French flag is of no legal authority. Hold on. The law of the flag. The law of the flag requires a flag flown that acknowledges jurisdiction with international law recognizing exclusive jurisdiction of the state whose flag is flown. When the flag of two or more nations are displayed, they should be flown from separate staff of the same height and approximately equal size. The flag of the United States should be hoisted. Flag of the United States does not have a gold fringe. Should be hoisted first and lowered last when flown from adjacent staffs and when flagpoles and when it is displayed with another flag against the wall of cross staffs, it should be on the right. A state may exercise jurisdiction over a vessel that is registered with the state and flying its flag. The law of the flags, ladies and gentlemen. Law of the flag establishes jurisdiction. Okay? Exclusive jurisdiction of flag states. The law of the flag. So, they say it has no merit, but the problem is it has all the merit because that establishes the jurisdiction of the court. Jurisdiction of the court is admiralty, never, but military. It is a military flag done under the commander in the chief capacity of the president. Pay attention. Now, I got to go, ladies and gentlemen, because I got to get ready. People get ready. Y'all take care, okay? Don't say you ain't never learned nothing from this idiot. Gotta go.